guys, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now today we've come um, to an old warehouse, it's actually an old soft drinks warehouse in Burton Latimer. Um, it's called the Hoarders Emporium and they have websites, um, they have a website, they also sell on eBay. So if you do want to check out um, the stuff that they're selling, and I'm going to put all the links in the description down below. So we're just going to have a look around now and there is so much stuff, there's such a variety um, and there are places like this all over the country so I'm sure there's going to be one that's quite close to you but as I said if you do want to check their eBay out and you live quite closely um, you know, to, to them then you can come along and pick them up. They don't um, deal with couriers or anything like that, it is straight just coming and picking up your item. Okay so we're just going to go around now and have a look and see what they've got. Okay, so when you first um, come in the building here, you can see it is a complete Aladdin's cave. And although they, um, as I say, don't post out, it's not a shop that you can actually come and look around, um, they very generously offered um, for me to come around and have a look. So um, we are actually allowed in here to, to have a look. So we're just gonna go around and have a look. And I'm not gonna go too quick, um, but I just thought you might all want to see the sort of things that you can pick up and there, um, there's lots of memories in these sorts of things as well. Maybe when you were younger, you used to have things like this. I mean, look here on the stairs, there's some old suitcases, if you can see. And this used to be an old soft drinks factory. And if you look up there, if I just zoom in, it says the syrup room, which is really cool. And it's all the old, same paint. And it's she soft drinks. I don't know if anyone can remember those. I certainly do when I was younger. Look, there's the board there. So let's have a little look around. Okay, it's in there. It's, I, I know I've said it before, but it's always the, the memories that, that when you look at things like this, you know, it's it's what who used to own them you know um, it's amazing let's have a look around here I have had a quick brief look round to start with um, got some LPs and old vinyls there I have had a quick look round um, but not a proper look so some chairs there and lots of these chairs, again, you know, they can be done up, they can be used for upcycling. Some more here. So the ones with um, the yellow tabs have been listed on eBay, so if you do spot anything and you live locally. And I think in here, she's got a few more chairs she showed me. So I mean, say for this for instance, if you can find a chair, it's quite, you know, quite plain looking, but you could paint that up into all sorts of different colours and different styles. You could put a seat cover on that and make that completely different. And things years ago were made to last, you know, they, they, they were of the era that we didn't throw things away, but then the items were made stronger, you know, they were built better. So if you can get any items of furniture that are a lot older, then they are going to last. So just look around this bit here, just so you can see some old chairs up there. But say there, there will be somewhere in your area, I'm sure, that does similar types of things. So pop along, find out, and have a look. This is really interesting. I'm just going to lift my arm up. This is an old school desk. Is really cool. Look at that. That could be done up really nicely. It's really nice. Drop leaf table down there. They are actually working in here, so you might hear some sorting. It's quite a chunky table there. Got nester tables. We'll see loads of stuff that I want to um, to do up, I'm sure. Got some different tables down there. I actually watched a programme called Money for Nothing. I don't know if anyone's ever watched that. Um, but they had a couple of chairs like this. And they took them to like quite a 
well-known designer and he did them up and he, all he did was paint them in like a grey colour and he put this kind of like dripping paint on one of the legs and it, they sold for about £100 a chair which is completely ridiculous. Um, you know, I mean obviously that they, they sell them in um, in the places where they know they can get that price but um, you know, you can, you can pick a chair up quite cheap and do something similar and just have it yourself or sell it locally and obviously not make quite as much money as that unless you're a designer outlet but it just shows it can be done we've got some stools there they would look really nice painted up maybe with a bit of decoupage on the top let's go around this section all right let's have a look down here things like tv stands that's got the legs that go with it it's like a oh look it's an old record player I don't know if you can see in there look at that <laughs> that brings back a few memories there's a wine wine rack you see just looking at that I've got so many ideas of, of how to redecorate that can be done up um, you can repaint them and make them look you know really really cool sorts of teacups. Just want to be careful in here. An elephant there, look. Let's have a look down here. I've got some plates. Got an old book there. China plates there, little cups and saucers, a nice little bowl, and a cup there, that's pretty. Kind of a good rummage in there.
large stack of vinyl. I think that's going to be separated into a couple of lots. It's like a recycling bin there. And then these are all split into, into different sections. It's more of um, um, a storage place here really. to let us in to have a little look because the public are not as a rule allowed to come in so it's really nice of them to let us have a rummage round and this section down here has loads and loads and loads of goodies I'll try and get it from the other side as well I mean look you wouldn't even have to do anything if that you know you pick things like this up Magazine rack there. All right, let's have a look down here. Got toys in this section. Some pictures here. Got some old mirrors and old pictures. Let me know if you if you recognise anything similar to when you were younger. Please let us know in the description down below if you spot anything that you, you know you used to have when you were young or um, you like the look of because it'd be really interesting to see the type of things that you know catches your your eye as well. Some more doors there. I'd say it really is an Aladdin's cave, so have a look around in your area to see if you've got any places like this, and do also check on eBay as well. Um, I am now going to just show you the top of this building. I'm going to try and get through to see if I can show you. I know it's not technically what we came to look at. I think it's fascinating. Let's have a look. As I said to you, this used to be the old sheep factory. And look at the top there. All the old bottles and syrup. That's amazing. So much history. So there we go. Thank you so much for coming with us. I hope you've enjoyed having a little wander around. Right, we're on our way home now, so please stick with us and I'll show you the things that I bought. Right, I'm back home now, and um, here are the things that I bought. I have this desk which was handmade and it's made to look like a school desk, so it's obviously been well used over the years. So I'm going to decorate that up and Phoebe's going to use that. And here are the other items that I purchased. We have this set of three elephants. And I'm going to redecorate those and sort of make those into a new little style there. I also bought that large vase at the back there. That again will be redecorated. And the last couple of items here are these beautiful teacups and plates. There's two there that match. And then there was also this one, which I thought was absolutely beautiful. I really, really, really love that design. And when I got home, I noticed that it's Royal Albert. It hasn't got the saucer with it, but, but I do really like it. So I'm going to put that on my Welsh dresser 
anyway. So there we go. There are the items. These again are all going to be for projects on the channel. So thank you for coming with us and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.